Hi, welcome to my HPI uh, Sprint 2 Drift Review. Uh, this is my new baby um, and it's on my new channel, uh, Drift Domenix on YouTube. So if you like this review at the end, please do subscribe. Uh, but this comes with everything you need to run. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio, 7.2 volt NICAD included. It's fully adjustable all round, uh, which has quite a high level of appeal to me from its uh, tuning perspective. And I've got a few option parts which I'm going to be putting on along the way as well. So, let's see what's inside the box. Okay, this Sprint 2 Drift version is the uh, Nissan 350Z. Comes with what should be a great looking body, as I said, 2.4 gigahertz radio, complete ready to run, making it ideal for beginners. Waterproof, accessories included, include all the batteries needed to get going. Full time four wheel drive, belt driven, which is uh, another key reason why I went for this, and I'll explain slightly more on that further. So, let's go open the box. Okay, diving straight on in with the unboxing. It's got the car in here. I've actually taken the P clips off the top because uh, they're just so awkward to remove on camera. Uh, at any speed. So there we got our car. Transmitter. NICAD, I'm guessing. Transmitter batteries, as I said, everything included. I'm guessing this is a charger. And an accessory pack here. So I'll open all this up, put it on the counter, and let's have a look at my, what we got in more detail. Okay, just opening it up, you are going to have to cut through cable ties front and back just to uh, get it clear of the box. And there we go. Okay, we're all unboxed now, so uh, what do we get for our money? Well, this is what we get. Uh, starting out, quick look at the transmitter. Nice, fairly lightweight item here. Uh, 2.4 gig and Comes complete with batteries included in the kit to get you going. Uh, you've got your trickle charger here. The first thing I'd recommend you doing uh, is uh, buying an additional char fast charger uh, that's capable of handling the NICAD that this comes with and also any lithium polymer batteries you may wish to purchase uh, in future. I've already actually purchased a, a lithium polymer battery to go with this which I'm going to show you in an another video as the uh, speed controller. Uh, is a lithium polymer uh, compatible, LiPo compatible uh, and indeed the car comes with a little sticker here telling you to stop and telling you what you need to do if you're going to run LiPos from day one uh, as I'm planning to but the fact is it's got the NICAD included so you can get you up and running from day one obviously it's going to take a while to charge with this uh, actually got the UK adapter on there but uh, comes with the American one which is odd as this is car was actually bought in America uh, nice little bag of spares here and this is the body it comes with as stock from the uh, Nissan 350Z quite nice but uh, if you like me that's probably one of the first things you'll change and maybe paint your own customised body to go with it okay so moving on to the meat of things here is the car Okay, the first thing and the most appealing thing to me on this is it's belt driven. Uh, I tried shaft driven drift cars before and just didn't really find that they worked overly well. Uh, and everybody seems to recommend uh, the belt combination is much, much lighter as well than a shaft driven car. Uh, you've got fully adjustable uh, suspension down in here for toe in, toe out, camber, uh, etc. Uh, with fully adjustable turnbuckles and also got the same fully adjustable setup on the rear. Uh, if you just don't know, note on the, the bodywork, I've just bought a new body uh, for this actually, uh, which I'm going to show you in another video. Um, you're going to need to obviously change the uh, the body height pillars uh, if you can, depending on what body you're getting. Uh, okay, everything is waterproof, uh, which is great. Let's spin it round. Look at the motor assembly. One thing I did read up on this car is it can have a tendency to catch stones uh, through this gap on the rear and they can catch and break the belt. So one of the first things I'm going to do is put something to seal over this gap to keep any stones out. 
uh, we'll come on to another video shortly so I hope you've enjoyed uh, this unboxing video uh, please do subscribe to uh, my new channel Drifter Maniacs where I'm going to be uh, doing quite a few more videos featuring uh, this car and other drift cars uh, if you like this video please give us the thumbs up uh, share it with friends etc uh, thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful many thanks